The Joy FM, as a family, we deliver shoes each year to different countries, to children in orphanages. And even though we call it Carmen Needs New Shoes, once you've been on one of these trips, you know it's not about the shoes at all. It's really about going and loving kids. And it was cool how I'm on the front side of how the shoes are collected of that, and I'm, I'm in the, the shoe stops that I had collecting the shoes from our listeners and the joy that they have on their face. You know, they're, I mean, they come just loaded down with boxes and, and they're just driven to, to answer the call that the Joy of Him puts out. They're just driven to do that. You know, we've been adopted as sons. Um, it's been really encouraging and just, I think, has brought forth um, to think upon God's affections towards us when we were lost and we were orphans and He chose to save us from that. Um, I think it'd be good for all of us to maybe kind of identify with the kids that we're serving a little bit and just, just remember what God's done for us on our behalf through Christ. When we get to the orphanages, we really just spend time with the children. We play games with them, we play kickball, we play Uno Dos Tres Alto. <laughs> which is a game that you'll learn is a lot like hot potato. Um, but we'll color with them, we give them stickers, we paint fingernails, we do, we just hang out with them. It's so hard to put into words what you feel after you experience one of these trips. A couple of things. One, once you know you can't unknow. Once you've seen it, you can't unsee. You've seen what you've seen. Remember the story of Esther. God does use unlikely people. Each year we take an artist with us, and this year um, our buddy Brandon Heath went with us. And if you've been a part of the Joy FM family at all, you know that, that Brandon really is family. He's like our little brother, and it just made sense for Brandon to experience this with our Joy FM family. The red bow is coming when Jesus comes back. There is no red bow until then. So keep wrestling with the feelings and don't try to find resolution to them. Don't, because there, there isn't. The only resolution is that God said, in this world you will have trouble, but take heart, for I've overcome the world. And right now we're living in the take heart part.
thankful that you that you mentioned that a hug can go a long way because I think a lot a lot of times people just need to feel no matter what age they are they just need to feel human. a couple of scriptures, one that God promises that he will not leave us as orphans, and the second one that says in John, in this world you will have trouble, but take heart, for I have overcome the world. And there is no red bow, there will not be a red bow until Jesus returns, but we know that God sees those children and he is with them. 